Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another 12-12 AD battle for you today and today the Crusaders are marching against the Ayyubid Sultan in a battle of a Hattin sort of recreation and I'm really looking forward to this one today we have the Crusaders here and we also have I believe Genoa here I guess like Genoese mercenaries uh, fighting alongside the Crusaders as they take on two huge uh, Ubid armies over here. I mean, they are two huge uh, Christian armies as well. We have 7,000 men on both sides. In fact, slightly more Crusaders. And I don't know why they're not making a rush for it right now. I don't know if it's um, part of a plan or something like that that the, uh, the Crusaders have. They could have definitely just charged in and just wiped out those heavy bow cav if they wanted to. And got some good kills. But maybe we are in the moment. I think this battle... I've been told there's like got some cinematic to it as well, so there might be uh, like some, some cinematic license, but they still said it was a really close and fun battle. And yeah, already as you can see, these mounted sergeants going in, actually managing to catch these uh, these archers, that's good to see. They are using, looks like, tier 2 and uh, tier 1, so it's a bit of a mix of tiers, which, um, but at least it seems like it's the earlier periods, not the later period sort of stuff. And already got Cyprian Knights as well going in here, killing a lot of these heavy bow cav. Actually, might waver and break these guys, these Mamluk, uh, like this Mamluk cavalry. So that's a big win there. So yeah, nice early start for the uh, start early win for the Crusaders, getting some good kills here. There are some hybrid shock uh, like and like units in there as well. These Mamluks, so they might be a bit more of a problem. But yeah, huge amount of cavalry here. Really excited to see how that one goes down. And already looks like there's a uh, Turkopoles over here has been scared off by the uh, Krasmarine Cav here. These uh, light bow horse archers actually doing a good amount of damage to that unit there. See, I don't know why the, the replay just froze for a moment. But anyway, we are back. It looks like we're about to see another huge Cav charge going in here. Crusade is definitely going to catch some of these units by the looks of it. Again, catching a unit here. I don't know if they're meaning to. They're definitely not getting the charge order off. But they uh, are certainly like going in and doing some damage to these heavy bow cabs. So. Credit to them there. It's not too bad. Yeah, definitely I don't think that was their order. I, f I feel like they charged in but didn't actually give like the attack order. Very weird, I will admit. Very weird. But yes, if you're enjoying the 12-12 AD battles and would like to see some more, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new on here, and a comment show your support. It really does help out the channel. And if you've got any of your own 12-12 AD battles that you want to send in, uh, feel free to join the Discord. And if you want to send in replays or if you just want to, you know, Join some 12, 12, 12 AD battles, and that is also a welcome to do so. And yeah, I mean, this certainly seems like it's going to be an epic one. And you guys always seem to love the Crusaders. And you know, as a Pope myself, I've got to ordain Crusades like this. You know, they're always good to see. We've got to see the uh, the Muslim forces being destroyed here and Jerusalem reclaimed. But yeah, I mean, you've got the, uh, the horse archers here and there. I don't know what this is. I've forgotten what this uh, it's like the Spanish circles. I've forgotten what this is. Like this, these um, like what this formation is called. But harassing the Genoese cav here. Genoese cav should just charge in though. They're just gonna stand there just as close and do it. That's their own fault. But there is a lot of cav here. I don't know exactly what the plan is. I don't know if the Muslim infantry is gonna move up soon. But it certainly should think about moving up soon. They've not got. Light melee infantry, medium bows, nothing impressive, that is for sure. Some camel cav as well. So yeah, seems as though they're going to just let the light cav do all the skirmishing first before they go in themselves. There's cavalry here. Focusing down these, uh, getting focused down here. And it looks like uh, they, they're going to be going in very soon. It looks like the Crusader is going to box up as well. To be prepared for the, uh, prepare the, for the inevitable attack from the Muslims. But there you go. Cavalry going in over here. The Crusaders have challenged the Ubers to a battle here. Heavy Cav versus Heavy Cav. I feel like the, uh, well, I was going to say the Crusaders should win. But Mount Sergeant is taking shot in the flank by Crossmedian Light Bows. And actually, they're losing along the, along the line by the looks of it. In this one here is the Mamelukes also start to win their fight. I mean, the heavies going against medium, so that would make sense. Uh, the Cyprian Knights seem like they're also inflicting a decent amount of damage, but also losing in these fights. I don't know what, how both sides are losing. Maybe Archer Fire coming involved. There's a man floating in midair. What is this sorcery? Yeah, the Mamelukes in here trying to do their bit. Looks like they're starting to flank round now are those, uh, those cavalry as they've routed 
from Cyprian Knights here. It looks like just sheer numbers of cavalry that the Ayubids can uh, bring to the field is also massively helping here as they just flank the Cyprian Knights, break them. I mean, these are chevroned up as well. Triple gold chevron, they're already wavering. And like, it's 43 men, that's like half strength and they're already thinking about breaking. It's a bad sign there. And now, I mean, these infantry here are going to be vulnerable. It means a lot of swords that you could just cycle charge these guys if they wanted to. They're actually getting caught in combat. I don't know if they meant to go for a charge. But they are now engaged with the Armenian swords down here. Enemy units have returned to the battle. So yeah, they are going to be able to get some kills here on these uh, swords, which are vulnerable. It does look pretty epic, though. We're like in a sort of like foggy, uh, desert -y sort of map. It looks really cool. I will give them that. So the Genoese here also managing to scare off some of these uh, hybrid cavalry over here. And uh, another engagement back here is more uh, Jerusalem troops getting engaged, it seems like, with the light bow back here. It looks like they're actually engaging something. A few of these, yeah, a few of these light horse archers getting actually caught again by the Hospitallers. So, uh, yeah, Jerusalem trying to exact some revenge. Got the Templars back here as well. Looks like they also got all their, like, holy orders, well, a few of their Holy Orders back here, the Knights of St. Lazarus, uh, Frank Amati Spears, which is basic Spears, Hospitaller Knights. Yeah, so they got some pretty decent infantry back there. Where else have they got? Uh, these are all the, um, the Genoese. I wonder if they got, like, I think it's just Armenians and stuff in the front lines over here. Hospitaller's Shock variant over there. We've got a few of these, ca these uh, Cyprian Cav holding on over here, trying to do their bit. As they fight for the Kingdom of Heaven. Yeah, it looks like the uh, the Krasmarine Cavalry going to try and fight on. Oh, they're actually just going in. Okay. Don't think that was their aim. I don't know. Maybe the uh, player didn't mean to send them in, but he's going in against Spears. This is not going to go well. He will die here. Yeah, Krasmarine Cavalry already dying pretty quickly. Got 60 out of 80 left. Over on this side over here. Looks like the, yeah, the um, Ayub is kind of getting thinned out actually by the superior cavalry out here. More cavalry now on its way though, as we have the Urban Atar. It's like it's a mix of, actually a mix of all sorts of cavalry. We've got light cav, we've got mediums, heavies, heavy hybrids. They're bringing a bit of everything over here to try and deal with these Hospitaller and Templar knights. They're absolutely annihilating the Muslim forces out here. So we've got the, uh, the Holy Orders. Pressing their claims to the desert. But yeah, obviously, if you are aware of Hatina, it is in, uh, is in the Kingdom of Heaven film, actually. And it is a defeat for the Crusaders and a victory for Salah Hadin. Who then goes on to take Jerusalem after this, uh, after this battle. So it's kind of a major battle, really, in that sense. Cavalry charging in the back of his own men. They really should just charge and uh, should have flanked around and hit the backs of these uh, these Muslim forces. There's also a general now moving up here. Halka al Kassar. He's been moved up. But yeah, seems as though. Well, Cavalry pulling out the Mamluks, trying to pull out. They're going to lose a lot of men from doing just that. They've also actually lost a Cavalry. You know, it is a medium shot cav going up against heavier cav. It has very low chance of winning. They're also routing a lot of cavalry out on this flank here are the Crusaders, so a bit of a win there. That's good to see. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the Slashing and cutting down those guys. Uh, the first, like, sort of square, though, looking a little rough, though. Um, imagine a lot of these units getting shot in the back by, as the crossfire of uh, horse archers goes across here. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'd be doing. And they're bringing up more shameful. horse archers here. And these are all, like, hybrid calves. They could do a mix of both charging in against the swords and also just uh, shoot in and yeah looks like we're about to see just one of those charges now as there you go cavalry charge goes in hits a sword unit swords really even in shield wall can't do much against a cavalry charge they haven't got uh, anti-cav really abilities and yeah that's a pretty good charge there by the uh, by the mamelukes really nicely done and i actually get a route right the route the foot to turk poles behind them jeez that is impressive and um, we've got uh some mamelukes over here as well some like uh, hybrid infantry here. These are like their best probably infantry available. Don't know why we've got that weird sort of like look there, but yeah, these Mamluks doing their bit. It's pretty dark actually. But yeah, they're pretty heavily armored. They look awesome though. Cavalry over here still getting routed by the uh, by the Templars by the looks of it. 
Well, actually, these aren't the Templars. These are the Genoese. And, and I don't know if these are... No, some of these are rallied. Some of these are probably healthy troops. Yeah, you've got uh, the General out here. It looks like they're rebuilding a sort of a cavalry force out here to threaten the, uh, the Crusaders' rear. As it looks like they're now going to join up with the Genoese here. Still plenty of Crusaders alive. Still 6,300. Actually more of them than there are uh, Ayubids at this point. But it doesn't really look like it's in their favor. The Ayubids have a lot of cab left. I do apologize. I don't know why it's just randomly stuttering at some points. But there you go. We have Templars now cutting down cavalry in here. I don't know if they got a charge off on the Templars. No, they didn't see what they did because they the cavalry's losing. We've got more Ayubi cavalry now joining the fight. We need to try and turn that around. Doesn't look like he's got a great charge. They routed one cavalry. They might be able to get another one. You never know. But yeah, if you want to check out the two YouTubers that took part in this uh, in this battle, then uh, I believe they both re recreated a cinematic for it. Then uh, I'll leave both their links in the description. It's both Cyrus and I believe uh, Lionsburg, who were the ones that played in this one. They did an epic job. It's certainly it's been a very cool cool battle so far. It's always nice to see some twelve twelve stuff as well. This cavalry is starting to lose though against the shock infantry, and but we're now seeing spears coming in to relieve the cav. Maybe the cav will try and get out of there. There's spears of their own coming in here. We've got Pavis now moving up, and it looks like that first initial box has been broken, and we're turning into I guess what you call an actual infantry fight here, as we have uh, Templars clashing down here. These elite. Holy Order troops fighting away. Shame, like I said, that we have a clash of Tier 1 and Tier 2. I feel like it should have just all been Tier 1. Oh, rip in peace to him. Got the Armenians in here. They're losing. And we've got the Shocking Tree over there starting to break. There's just a horde of Mushad al Jund here. Or, uh, I think it's what there is, isn't it? Or Mushad al Halka, it seems like, is what the name is. Over on this side over here, Cavalry causing a bit of chaos. For the, uh, for the Genoese with their Balistari. They've routed a fair few with the crossbows. They've probably got pretty good armor piercing. And the spears are supporting from Genoa. Uh, from, not from Genoa. From uh, Jerusalem. But he's causing an issue. Swords over here. Yeah, Armenian really. Swords starting to waver. They need to get a flank out here with the Pavis. Charging to the side of these, uh, these swords. Try and help, help their comrades there. Because the infantry probably for the Ubers is pretty trash. I mean, it is over here. Like, these guys uh, getting absolutely annihilated by the dismounted Hospitaller Knights who are char shocking infantry unit. Keep cutting them down, boys. Keep cutting them down. There you go. Done just exactly that. Now that you get the shock flanking around, maybe trying to break some of these other units. The Armenians, though. They're hanging on by their fingertips. They are getting cut down pretty quickly here. And this fight over here is really starting to... Uh, blob up you could put it like so i mean there's been a lot of infantry that's just sort of been poured in here for both sides a big line of carry sound to form upon this side over here for the ayubids a lot of camels actually going in we're seeing more hospitalers as well strike in templars managing to get in amongst some uh, some some cavalry over these are mamelukes here until so the templars just pressing on the hospitalers in the back lines there going for horse archers They're actually focusing down like a tiny little Maronite archer. I don't know if that's really worth their time. They're throwing all, yeah, throwing all their javies. Whether that was their intention, I don't know. But yeah, we got a lot of Tabadaria and uh, spears over here. For the Ubids getting mopped up by the Jerusalem armies.
A lot of wavering now going on. These are light spears, after all. They're not the greatest. Four spears engaging here. Hold the line, boys. A general has fallen. Oh, no. Oh, that is not good for the Ubers. They've lost their general. That is going to be a huge-ass problem. And there you go. Yeah, the Crusaders mopping up that general really easily, actually. That is... That was pretty effective. And they're, yeah, keeping their box. of whether the general really should have charged in. They've got like a box here formed up of like hospitalers. And then they've got their uh, Lanceri just behind them. Which are heavy spears. They're going to be hard to break through. That's going to be a problem for morale now for this uh, Ubud army. Uh, the yellow one anyway. The blue one still got their general as far as I'm aware. That might also affect balance of power. Uh, allied troops, yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. I was... A, I think I'm mistaken in the allied troops. Uh, sorry, the Muslims had more troops to start with. The um, the uh, Crusaders had less. I do apologize. I probably mixed them up accidentally. Um, but yeah, now the Muslims have less troops. They've got 3,500 against... Uh, looks like 4,300. So yeah, the Crusaders could turn it around here. They could change history, potentially. And here at Hatim. Certainly over here, it seems as though the uh, the Crusaders having to mop up more troops here. It might be able to get this uh, this general here, though. Might be a Ubers if they're good. They're very smart. They can maybe surround him, and that might turn the balance of power back in favor of them. If they can kill him. He could then rout a bunch of these uh, units. So it looks like they're going to just try him. Uh, ch he's chasing down horse archers. The best thing to do in that case, just shoot him. Why they, they've dismounted some Mamluks over there. I don't know why they've done that. But yeah, just shoot the general. Uh, just like keep harassing him. Until he eventually dies. But yeah, lots of Cav getting caught up here. These Mamluks also getting caught. They're charging in. They've got archers engaged here. Like they're throwing in foot turquoise into melee. I don't know if that's really a smart idea from the Crusaders. But hey, I won't question it. Frank Amati Spears going in. Dismounted uh, Knights of St. Saint Lazarus. We move back up. These guys well chevroned up. Still got some Pavis over here fighting alongside. Looks like some Genoese Spears as well. A tier 2 Spear does look pretty cool on it. But it has also just broken, I think. Or it's starting to just break. The Hezels will help break a uh, sword. There's still a whole cavalry wing here. I mean, it's mainly Mercer, Mercer Casmarine archers. Or oh, lancers, sorry. But uh, they're still pretty good. I mean, they could certainly mop up a lot of these troops over here. And give themselves a chance against the Genoese. So now dashing off in this direction. Whether they're going for the hill, I don't know. They look what they might be. Um, they look, they are certainly winning this fight though. So I don't know if they really need to make a, a, a defense, like a run for the hill. Flanking troops here helping to, to rout the Jerusalem army. The Genoese infantry in there holding the line as well. There you go, looks like these guys are going to get routed. They're holding to the last man though, Genoa. They refuse to give in. The one with the Crusader style, lifestyle. They love it. These archers over here are also getting uh, routed. Looks like... They're just a bit of a mop-up now for the uh, Ubers over here because it seems like the Crusaders just abandoned these forces here as they make a dash, it looks like, for the uh, for the hill. So it looks like maybe they'll turn it around with the Ubers. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, certainly the stand over here. 
by the Genoese is starting to fall. And I'm also surprised that this Lancieri here is starting to die to Krasmin Lancers. And it's light shock, I believe, against heavy spears. They really shouldn't be... Well, I guess they're losing. They're winning, but wavering. So you imagine the Lancers will uh, will prevail there. But yeah, Lancers are dying on every fla other flank, it seems, as well. As they charge into heavy spears, it's just not a good idea. Oh, the spears, the rally, they might be fine. In fact, we've got archers in there starting to break. Why are they sent these archers in there? I don't know. They had like full ammo. Got some more wavering going on over here. Lots of wavering, in fact, it seems. And I'm going to just fast forward a little bit because uh, see if these guys get mopped up a little bit by the AU bids. They might do. Suddenly these spears are going to get surrounded and murdered. Jeez. A bit of overkill, I feel like. Just three units here trying to take out one spear. And they're still not going to break and die. It's going to be a lot of cab that gets killed off unnecessarily in this fight. Swords and spears over there trying to do their best. It looks like they've just about prevailed. It looks like the other Mameluke general now moving over. It looks like they're going to make an assault ready for this hill very shortly. This is a com combination of Genoa and also uh, Jerusalem. They've definitely got the cab that could deal with it. Why are these guys just stood here? I don't really understand. That's a bit of an unusual one, I will admit. But it looks as though Enemy units have and to the, the fighting is just kind of commit like battling on over here in the corner. And we're just gonna fast forward again uh, as just we wait on the. Uh, a Ubers to make their assault up the hill, really. And also just, well, run out of the men to assault this death box of a square that uh, Genoa has. Oh, they had the cross. I didn't even realize. And it died. That is a, that is an L. Uh, I'm not going to lie. The, the holy cross that, you know, the Caraccio standard or whatever it is that they call it. It's a cool ass banner. And it's being destroyed by the heretic Ayubids. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed this battle. It's a little bit of a different one. Strange pace one. I think it is sort of a more of a, like a cinematic one. Um, but still a fun one to check out. And it's always great to see the uh, the Crusaders in action. And then and a, trying to retreat a famous battle like Hattin. It's sort of gone pretty well. I don't know why this is like isolated units everywhere. I don't know if this was just like people failing to mop stuff up. But these Ballastari over here. Getting some easy kills on cavalry here. Mercenary, Kazmir and Lancers. Whether micro is an issue because like they had such large armies they just were struggling to micro, I don't know. But uh, here we go. Cavalry now rushing up this hill. They're going to... I mean, they haven't got much infantry to deal with all these uh, these spears and these swords and stuff like that. I mean, the swords that the cav can deal with, I guess. But yeah, a lot of spears still left and archers. So uh, really, the Ubids, I feel like, are going to need more assets than just what they have thrown up here. Certainly, they're going to need those hybrid infantry over here, these Mamelukes. But yeah, we'll see how this one finishes. Whether they can break through this final defense up here by the by Drusen, which honestly I feel like Drusen didn't need to need to make this defense. I feel like they could have just won their fight outright. The fire is not coming in. They're trying to break these units. I guess it's not a bad idea. Certainly this one here, because it's got a uh, it's got no general, so morale will be an issue for it anyway. But here we go. Looks like they're coming up the hill slowly. I mean, just keep flanking cav round the back. Eventually, you just shoot it in the back, and you all just rear charge it. So it'll be be a win all the same. Uh, we've got both generals still alive. Looks like Drusum has dismounted his own. He's got the king's bodyguard here. The king of Drusum himself leads the way. Look at that raising and sword ready to go.
carry oh did charge in okay charge into these swords here rip through that sword unit and just struggling with the next one though it is inflicting damage charging in the spears as carry yeah also a no-go this will end in death for your cavalry But maybe the humans feel like they have just nothing left else to throw up with cavalry. I mean, these spears, Frank Cavani's spears, absolutely getting chewed up. But they are also killing a fair few cavalry of their own. And soon, time for the Knights of Lord, Lord. The Knights of. I was going to say Lord Order. But the Order of St. Lazarus. Doing a great job there. The general's over here clashing. Oh, actually, it's not. It's uh, the Mamluks. Where is the general? I thought maybe he'd clash. Looks as though the general's over here. This is with his massive contingent of horse archers. Whether the general will engage that, I don't know. The, uh, the horse archers might just focus him down. I'd honestly just flank with my general. Surround what remains the uh, Ewids. You've got a chance. We'll go through the gap that the other general here has fallen for you. The Templars here holding in the line. They know what they must give to defend Jerusalem. And it's their lives. They've sacrificed them enough already. Got Baldwin over here. It's, could go and engage this, uh, this Mamluk unit. Try and deny it. It's actually apparently also in combat. So there's always that. Balance power pretty even now. Enemy count 1,800 against 2,200. General unit here of Genoa helping to rouse some troops. Doing what he can. The battle line over here is raging on. Ayub is throwing up what remains of their infantry reserve. More and more troops starting to break. General over here, the Mamluks have helped rout Jerusalem on this flank here. The general over here as well. We've got the king's bodyguard getting killed off here by the Mamelukes. That is a huge win. Can they rout all of the Jerusalem troops? They might be able to. The they can get this to the general when they got a chance. And there you go. A close defeat for the Ayubids apparently. So uh, we'll end the replay and have a quick look at the end results. Uh, apparently it is bugged. I don't know what mods they were then using. Um, but uh, yeah, it seems like the replay might have been slightly bugged at the end. So that was sent in by Cyrus or Magi of Faum, as he's also known. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for sending it in. I don't know if I'm maybe just missing out on a sub mod or so, like on a mod or something like that or a sub mod. Um, do let me know. Um, and then yeah, I mean, so in the future I can just make sure it's not bugged out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this 1212 AD battle. It was a fun one anyway. I did have good fun. Even if uh, it did have a bit of a anticlimactic ending. But it did look like the Ubers were maybe going to turn it around and win it. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Do remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you guys in the next.